Visiting the cherry blossoms in Japan has been one of my dreams for many years. And today, I want to take you to my favorite places to enjoy them. From day to night, wearing a kimono and enjoying delicious food in one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Kyoto. the most popular to see the cherry blossom here in Kyoto and therefore there is a lot of people so it's quite hard to get this spot but I want to share it with you because you have cherry blossoms basically everywhere. If you guys are into, there is also a beautiful boat that takes you through the channel and you can see all the beautiful cherry blossom trees around. We really wanted to do it, but unfortunately it's fully booked. It seems like after the cherry blossoms all fall, yeah. the river, the stream becomes ah. filled with cherry blossoms. Yeah. It becomes like a pink river basically. That's crazy. Yeah, we saw it yesterday. It looks so beautiful. So I love when the cherry blossoms are like falling. It looks like a snowing, but of like petals. Yeah, it does. So it's super, super pretty. Yeah, now next stop, Philosopher's Path. The I think, famous Philosopher's Path. I think it's like the top place to see the cherry blossoms here in Kyoto. So let's check it out. Now we are in the super super famous, where is my baby? There you go. <laughs> the philosopher path. Yeah, so so beautiful. Weird. I feel like I'm running out of English words to describe yeah. this place. Yeah. This is like definitely top three, if it's not like number one. Many people on say the it's list. the number one place to yeah. see the cherry blossom. And I can understand why, because you have so many varieties of cherry blossom. You have the one that are sort of willow that are like falling yeah. uh, with like darker tones. You have the white ones, you have the pink ones, a lot of green, of course. Uh, some people doing the kimono experience as well. If you're gonna come here, just bring some, maybe a little water <laughs> and really some comfy right shoes. <laughs> yeah, some comfy shoes and just get ready ready to walk because it's a very long philosopher path a lot of time for <laughs> philosophy i know a lot of time to think about stuff <laughs> uh, and don't worry because on the way you're gonna find some cute coffee shops you have some matcha ice cream that i'm craving mm, but there is a I long line <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have unfortunately i haven't seen any restaurants so i will suggest to eat something before you come yeah but mostly cafes right mostly cafes and some snacks were very beautiful you definitely have to check it out it has to be on your list if you want to check the cherry blossom <laughs> you yay. yay good morning kyoto good morning kyoto 
we have arrived. <laughs> we are now in Toji Temple oh. and it's very beautiful because one of the most common ways to move around Kyoto is by bicycles. So here are our bicycles <laughs> and Toji Temple is only eight minutes from our house. <laughs> Super close. The roads are so safe for driving. Now it's just a little hot so it's just perfect one where you are driving the bicycle yeah, it's, it's such a nice experience so refreshing so yeah let's check it out yeah. <laughs> Doji literally means East Temple, is one of Kyoto's many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It stands 57 meters tall, making it the tallest wooden pagoda in Japan. It can be seen from many places across the city. Also, you can find a popular flea market on each 21st of the month, from the early morning where you can find kimonos and delicious food. And that one behind me is the temple that is so 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 beautiful and the entrance was only 500 uh, yen but if you want to visit the museum it's 1000 more so yeah it is up to you very beautiful place very calm not that many people like other places i believe that it's because it's a little more in the south part of the city but definitely must on the list to visit Insane. You have cherry blossoms everywhere. It's like a roof on top of you. You have these beautiful red colored tables that you can just picnic on with amazing Japanese food. I know, it's so beautiful. We are all surrounded by beautiful cherry trees. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everyone you look at. It's insane. So, we got this one is yakitori. Mm -hmm. So, basically, it's a meat skewer. Mm -hmm. This one is um, special beef tendon miso stew. And this one is scallop. Oh. Butter scallop. Really nice. Yeah. Also, you have to pay 500 yen and you can stay here for one hour. That's like some sort of like standard rule yeah, for that's all the these places. Fee for the table. Yeah, but it's totally worth it. Totally I mean, worth it. this place is so, so beautiful. Not just for daytime, also nighttime. They have these beautiful lights all around that it must be so pretty at night. And you have a lot of drinks and beer. And this food is pretty nice food for drinks as well. So now we just want to enjoy this beautiful lunch, this sort of picnic surrounded by people from all over the world just enjoying this incredible view. So stuck and you can't get out, just remember. 
is the real treasure of Marinema Park. place is as beautiful as an imagine or even more in real life and just ah, just it's overwhelming how beautiful is it I'm I can be here the whole day <laughs> oh, it's incredible we like Maruyama so much that we decide to return that same night to enjoy the cherry blossom wow. and the lights <laughs> <laughs> yeah look at me <laughs> oh my god, I am shocked it's right now. It's quite overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. Such a huge change from the daytime. <laughs> Insane. So this is Maruyama Park again. And as I mentioned before, this place is very famous for daytime and also for nighttime. Because as you can see, there are a lot of vendors. They put like beautiful lights around the cherry blossoms. So it's very pretty. But... <laughs> Too much stuff going on and a lot of drunk people. A lot of drunk people <laughs> and the funny thing is that I believe that most of the drunk ones are Japanese people. Yeah, actually the, the <laughs> foreigners are all like being on their best behavior yeah. with their legs closed and their hands tucked. I know, and it's then so the Japanese are like, ah, wow. come drink here. Welcome ah. to Japan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, really nice, but uh, I think that we are not that much into that vibe anymore. <laughs> so we are just trying to find like more like a quiet place around. Uh, but yeah, it's so crazy to see the entire change. Usually at daytime, foreigners are the noisy ones. The Japanese are more like, you know, <laughs> calm Refrain, ones. Yeah. But nighttime seems like everything changed. Yeah, the switch is just crazy. Switch. The good thing about coming so late is that, as you can see, there is no one on these spots that are very popular and look at these beautiful lights wow so pretty when you cry at least a hundred times when you feel so stuck and you can't get out just remember so over there is the party where everyone is really really, really drunk here is us just chilling in the darkness. In the darkness <laughs> with some beer and or takoyaki. It's also and nice. Enjoying look at this. The cherry blossom. Yay. Beautiful. This is our picnic night in Kyoto. Let us know if you ever tried this or if you would like to be on the party or if you will be like us in a little corner. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are picking Chisons kimono and he's so trying hard. to choose. <laughs> there are so many amazing options. Mm -hmm. Very easy to match. Yeah. And then I once I have this on it'll be easy to put on like choose the color for the belt. Yeah. Temperature. So it's gonna look something like this. Yeah, I like black. And it's gonna look like the picture. It's so pretty too. So I have all these options for me. And I don't know what to choose. They are so beautiful. This is just too tight. And it's gonna look something like this. So beautiful. You can also change the bell for all these options for a little extra cost. And there are other kimonos that are more elegant, like this one. And it's definitely more pricey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's gonna pick it and it's gonna change. <laughs> okay, so we are all set. Wow, look wow. at this. 
that. So cool. I'm really excited. It looks so handsome. And I'm Thank here you. with my kimono. So pretty. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Uh, yeah, there are so many places that you can rent kimonos or yukatas. The difference is that kimono is mostly for winter. And this one that is the yukata is more fresh, so it has less layers. It's perfect for now. And also you have ones that are a little more fancy and others that are a little cheaper. We actually have just like the standard option. I'm and happy with it, though. Me too. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. No need to get the fancy one at all. Yeah. So this one, we got the couple option. And we paid, so it's supposed to be 5,000 something gems, but you have to also add, a, if you want to put like her stuff, is another 550. If yeah. you want to get any other accessory, you have to add more. You have to pay 300 each for uh, the cleaning of the kimono or yukata. So at the end with taxes, we end up paying around 8,900 gems. That, for both of us though for both of yeah. us so that would be around around 80 dollars for that standard option you have some options that are like way too more expensive but again we are very happy with this one yeah. now we are in the gyeong area this is one of the most popular areas to rent the kimono because it's so so pretty we are going first to maruyama park and later we're gonna hit some of the most beautiful temples that are around so if you want to join us to this beautiful adventure around the cherry blossoms in kyoto Let's get started. <laughs> Got this crabs on a stick. Oh, mm. okay. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. If you come to Marijama Park, you have two options. You can eat right behind Chison. There are all those tables that you can do some sort of a picnic, like we did the last time, or you can just buy food from the vendors. There are a lot of vendors around the park. According to what we have read, seems like it's bad manners to eat while you walk. So no, therefore, <laughs> you should find a spot to eat there, and then you can just walk. <laughs> Good tea. There are also a lot of people eating though while walking. Yeah, but mostly foreigners. probably foreigners. <laughs> yeah. And I got this really strange hot dog. <laughs> that I had last time, it was really good. So it's cooked rice rolled with some sort of a bacon with like a teriyaki sauce on top and they also put some mayo. It's really good. So far it's my favorite from the market. But there is a lot of options you can try it out. <laughs> you can also do some picnic here. This looks so nice. this snack that I've seen a lot in animes and also um, Jap Japanese dramas. Yeah. It's a sugar-coated uh, strawberry. strawberry yeah. yeah. And it's not even... It's hard. I thought it was liquid, but it's hard. I'm gonna try it. Wait, <laughs> you can't bite it. You cannot bite it? Mm. It's literally candy. I have to suck it. <laughs> See, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. After eating a lot of delicious food, 
we decided to walk through the famous neighborhood of Gion, known as the Geisha District. But as you can see, due to being such a popular date, the streets were full of people. Then, we end our experience by visiting the amazing Kiyomizudera Temple. This was one of the highlights of the neighborhood. That was it. That was it. Oh, I am so tired. Me too. There were so many people and so many delicious oh, yeah. things to try, but unfortunately, because there is so many people, a lot of line. <laughs> so again, if you want to check this, if you want to do this plan, I would suggest you to take an entire day, uh, bring some water and a lot of patience if you want to get those really cool shots that you can see all over the Instagram. Okay, so I think that that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining us to this amazing experience. Let me know in the comments if you also want to check it out. I haven't done the handbook yet, so I'm very curious, which one do you prefer? Do you think that the kimono? looks prettier or do you think that the handbook in Korea will be better? I would love to know. I cannot say anything. I don't want to get into trouble. But I think I like the kimono actually. <laughs> the kimono is so beautiful. It gives like a very beautiful silhouette in the body. So I'm very happy of how my body looks with it. Chison looks like a really cool samurai. So uh, <laughs> Loving it much more than I thought I would. Yeah. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I would love to know. I know I always will be reading your comments and replying. So yeah, see you next time, guys. See you.